Significant figures. Significant figures is going to answer the question, where do we round? To figure out if a number is significant, we're going to use a couple rules. The first one is that the numbers 1 through 9, the real numbers, are always significant. So here we have four numbers. None of them are zeros, so four significant figures. Here we have three significant figures, the 5, the 5, and the 4. In 29, there's two significant figures. Here again, all four of these digits are not a zero, so all four of them are significant. Pause the video lecture and figure out how many significant figures are in each of these numbers. You should have gotten 5, 3, and 6. So now what about zeros? Our first rule, our first type of zero is a leading zero. Leading zeros are never significant. So if we take a number like 0 0.0025, well, all of these zeros are in front of the first non-zero number. So they are not significant. There are two significant figures here. Another way to see this is if we were to write 0 0.025, some people don't even put that first zero in front of the decimal point, and that's okay. The reason that it's okay is that leading zeros are not significant. If we were to write this number in scientific notation, we would write 2.5 times 10 to the negative third. Notice we didn't write any of those zeros because they're not significant. Leading zeros are never significant. Our second type of zero is a captive zero. Our captive zeros are zeros that are between two <laughs> Captive zeros are zeros that are between two non-zero numbers. They are always significant. So here we see one and two, both significant figures, and those two zeros fall between them. That means that there are four significant figures. Here, this zero falls between the 2 and the 5, so it is also significant. So this number has five significant figures. This zero is between the 2 and the 5, but these are leading zeros, and leading zeros are never significant. So 0 0.00205 has three significant figures. Our last type of zero is a trailing zero, and trailing zeros depend on a decimal point. So what we need to ask ourselves is, is there a decimal point? If the answer is yes, then it is significant. If the answer is no, then it is not significant. So looking at the number 100.0. There is a decimal point, so these trailing zeros are significant. So there are four significant figures. In the number 100, there is no decimal point, so the zeros are not significant. So only one. We have a number 100 point. There is a decimal point. So all these numbers, all three of them, are significant. What do you think about the number 2,500? If you said two significant figures, you'd be right. No decimal point, no significance. So only two significant figures. Another way to determine if a number is significant is using the Atlantic Pacific Rule. Pacific is going to stand for a present a present decimal point. So if the present is de if the decimal point is there, we start counting from the Pacific Ocean this way as soon as we hit our first non-zero number. So we have a decimal point so in this number right here. So we're going to start counting 
here. So there are three significant figures, the 1, the 0, and the 5. We have the decimal point, so we start counting from the left. There's our first non-zero number, so all the other numbers, all three of them, the 1, the 0, and the 0, are significant. There's a decimal point here, so we start counting here. So this is four significant figures. If the decimal point is absent, we start counting from the Atlantic side. So again, we start counting here, moving to across from the first non-zero number. So in, in 12,500, there is no decimal point, so we start counting here. These zeros are not significant. So 12,500 has three significant figures. No decimal point in 10,026, so we start counting here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This number has five significant figures. Absent decimal point in 300, so we start counting here. Not significant, so only one significant figure. Pause the video lecture and determine the number of significant figures present in these numbers. You should have gotten 2, 5, 3, 4, 2, 4, 6. Now, this next part isn't in your guided notes, and I apologize for that, but we're going to round significantly, and we need to talk about this. So let's say we want to round a number to two significant figures, a number like 156. Well, the second significant figure is the 5, and we look to the right, and the 6 tells the 5 to become a 6, so 156 rounds to 160. Notice this is a trailing zero. So it is not significant. If we use the Atlantic Pacific rule, the decimal point is absent, so we start counting this way. And so we just count the 6 and the 1. Either way, two significant figures. If we look at a number like 0 0.00279, well, the second significant figure is the 7, and the 9 tells the 7 to become an 8. So this number rounds to 0 0.0028. This number has two significant figures, no matter how we no matter how we do it. The decimal point is present, so the Atlantic Pacific rule says count from left to right. So we have the two and the eight. Our rules tell us that these are leading zeros and they're never significant, so it's just the two and the eight. We can't put a zero here for that nine. We can't put that zero here because if we did, the Atlantic Pacific rule would tell us to count that number. Our leading zeros are insignificant, but now this is a trailing zero, and there is a decimal point, so it would count. So we cannot add any of those extra zeros. When we do conversions, so when converting, we okay, our general the actual rules differ, but for our purposes, what we're going to do is we're going to round to the number of significant figures. Sorry, round to the smallest number of significant figures in the given. So. If we were converting something like uh, 6.7 inches to centimeters, well, one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. And you're not going to be asked to remember that from memory. We're not going to ask you to remember that from memory. You'd be given that conversion factor. But when we take 6.7 times 2.54, we get 17.5. 018 on our calculator. 
Now 6.7 has two significant figures, so our answer needs two significant figures. In this case, the 7 is the, is the second significant figure. You look to the right, and the 0 tells us to keep a 7, so our reported answer would be 17 centimeters.